even the worst of the cold. Forecasted high temperatures for the next four days are all below zero degrees. Those dangerous temperatures not only threatening drivers, but also homes. As KETV News Launch 7 Sarah Fiedler reports, there are some things you should do now to keep your home warm and safe. Believe it or not, these are the nicest temperatures that we're going to see for the next couple of days, but that cold brings some hidden issues that homeowners need to be aware of. Tons of snow, cold weather, frigid temperatures, and it's just only going to get worse over the next few days. And that means phones are ringing off the hook at heating and plumbing companies. Busy. <laughs> It's very busy out there with this type of weather. We've already received approximately 42 no heat calls already today alone. Inside a home near 90th and Ford, an Exarban ARS tech works on a family's heater. They've been without heat since 10 Thursday night. Maintenance could have prevented today. In fact, Don Gilmer says that's to blame for most of the heater failures that happen in cold snaps. A lot of it is because of lack of maintenance. And the biggest, biggest thing I can say is change your air filter. They also encourage you to use blankets and consider turning down the heat. I would recommend everybody try to lower your thermostat about two degrees from where you normally keep it to lessen that stress upon your system. That will help out in this long time during this extreme cold time. You just need to get a little bit of a flow. On the plumbing side, that age old myth 100% yeah, works. Might just save you thousands. Open the cabinet doors and leave them open. Let some heat get inside that cabinet which hopefully will transfer into the water pipes and keep them from freezing. Of course, disconnect the outside hose. If you notice water stops running inside, turn off your water immediately to prevent a break and be aware of cooler spots. It's more important for the older homes that don't have a lot of insulation on the back wall. Um, a lot of the supply lines back there will freeze up. Bill Goodman with Integrity Plumbing says this is what can happen if a pipe breaks and it comes with a hefty price tag because of water damage. Advice for next year. Have somebody come and do like a thermal gun to inspect where all the missing insulation is. Integrity says last year the team got about 80 calls a day. The more calls, the more time it may take to get to your home. It's a lot of running around. It gets a little chaotic. Both companies say with the weather moving in, there's only so much more a homeowner can do. But if preventative measures fail, they're only a call away. Hope and pray that your pipes don't freeze. That's, sometimes that's the best thing. There's a myriad of other tips and tricks to hopefully keep the cold at bay inside your home. You can find those on KETV.com. Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.